Hi, Pisces. I hope that you're all well. I'm sorry. I have been trying to get your readings done and let's just face it. I'm useless. <laughs> um, I wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers. You guys are incredible. And also I want to give a huge shout out to David from Strange Paranormal. You are incredible. Thank you. Thank you. you know, I'm so lucky. He's way down in Texas, and it's funny because it's really nice and warm where he's at, and we got snow yesterday, so I'm sitting here in warm sweaters, and I had a, um, the fireplace going last night, <laughs> and meanwhile, he's saying it's 80 degrees there. It's pretty funny. Anyways, my Pisces, let's get into this. Sorry, excuse me for one second. Sorry for that. Yeah, my phone was going off. <laughs> Speaking of which, I know I have a ton of emails to respond to and I am definitely doing that. I just, just please bear with me. I, it's been a little busy and I'm doing the best I can and I love you for understanding and being patient. Okay, I think I can get this reading done now. <laughs> I hope. Sorry. Okay, so let's see what's going on. These are general messages. So they're not going to resonate for everybody. So just take what does and leave the rest. If you'd like a reading that is specific to your situation, please go ahead and uh, book on my website and you can find the link to that in the description box below. So let's see what's going on for you guys. Codependency. Here we go. Codependency. Some of you may struggle with that and maybe it's come about or you're feeling afraid. Maybe you dealt with it in the past and now you feel the symptoms creeping up again. Maybe somebody you're dealing with is codependent and they could be in, in a mode right now where they're trying to control you in ways that codependents do. There's some kind of addictive aspect here that is having an issue there you go the five of pentacles somebody is feeling rejected and left out in the cold right now they're feeling as though they're being ignored maybe or maybe you're feeling as though you're being ignored um also some people may have addictions that they're dealing with or they're trying to overcome but they're struggling with it and that's making them feel very isolated and alone some of them could be isolating because they are addicts and i'm so sorry for anybody dealing with that i know what that is like that is very hard but again seven of cups there's some confusion here it could be that there's a number of options that you have that you're dealing with but i feel as though this is confusion and and daydreaming and wondering what the heck is going on wondering why haven't i heard from this person why am i left out in the cold why am i alone what what did i do what should i do how do i fix this could be dealing with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn maybe you're really focused on work right now and your stability or they're very focused on work and their stability and maybe that's what this is maybe some of you are just addicted to work or the person that you're dealing with is addicted to work and because of that you're struggling to find time for love and to find time to come together there's something also about safety and security here and we all know too that codependents usually have an anxious attachment style so when someone gives love and then they pull away it can trigger that in you. And when you're triggered, you get really afraid and you start getting into almost delusional thinking. Delusional in terms of worrisome thinking, thinking that the worst is happening or that you've been abandoned, okay? Because that triggers um, abandonment wounding. How is Pisces person feeling, please, spirit? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So there could be a little bit of a challenge here. And I mean, a challenge could be anything. There could be other people around. And 
maybe you're feeling a bit threatened. Maybe they're feeling a bit threatened with the attention that you're getting. There could be money factors. But this is about keeping an open mind because maybe, just maybe, like I said, with these confusing thoughts that you're getting, they're hindering what could possibly be. What is this keep an open mind? So so I think that they're they're hoping that something will happen. They're trying to be wise about it. Hermit energy could be dealing with a Virgo. They're trying to be wise in this situation. And I think that they're they're trying to understand that maybe you've just gone in for some introspection. You've gone within. And so maybe that's why you haven't been around. Maybe you just needed to find some time or maybe they needed to find some time. Wow. And now I'm getting this tickle. So sorry, my friends. I had to pause that. My eyes are even watering because it was just so itchy. And it feels like somebody's gone within, but they need to speak. There's something that somebody wants to say, something that they figured out. <gasps> you know what they figured out? I think they figured out that maybe they want to be with you. Oh, Pisces. Or maybe you figured out that maybe you want to be with them. There's this happy home life. I feel like, wow, one sec. So sorry. Wow, there goes my throat again. They want to tell you that you make them happy. You make them so happy. You make them feel emotionally fulfilled. They make you emotionally fulfilled. This is the happy ever after card. And it can also speak to soulmates too. But I'm feeling like there's a spiritual bond here, especially with that hermit card. You both are very wise. You both have been through a lot and you both understand the dynamics of life. That's what I'm feeling here. Wow. And somebody, I, I think it's a matter that this needs to be communicated. And I feel like no matter what the hurdles are, Somebody's willing to say that they're going to stick around and make it happen. Wow. What else do we got? Express your love. See? What did I tell you? My throat was just choking up there. Somebody wants to express how they feel. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Who needs to express their love? I think both do. I think both need to come to this devil. <laughs> Some could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or some of you just feel very bonded to this person, but wow, there there's something here that needs to be expressed. You need to keep an open mind and I think maybe some of you met somebody that's very important to you and you guys need to free yourselves from the fear because that could be what it is. Maybe you're addicted to fear. And so if you allow yourself to stay stuck in fear, you don't move forward. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancerian. This is about overcoming those challenges and obstacles. Like I was telling you, if you're traveling or if they're at a distance, possibly, this is saying, look, you know, no matter what you're afraid of, we can get through this. You guys, we can make this happen. We can get through the challenges. We can get through this confusion. And I say confusion because of that seven of cups, but as well that um, the clouds at the horse's feet. See that? Somebody really wants to move forward with this. Aww. So then what's the blockage, please, spirit? What's the blockage? What's the blockage for Pisces? Flirt. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. That's cute. I just got this um, feeling like maybe you guys can't get past the flirting stage. You don't know how to how to move past it with that chariot energy right so you're like oh what do i do <laughs> you 
<laughs> you guys are so cute. Others that you might be afraid because the person's flirting with others or people are flirting with them. You guys, you're adorable. You're making me laugh today. Thank you. Yeah. Past life relationship. And I think it's just spirits from the past that are holding you guys back. Where is this going, please, spirit? Where is this going? Heart to heart conversations. I told you. Told you. It's time to say what you need to say to each other. I'm sorry, my nose is running a little bit, but it's definitely time to say what you need to say. You got to open up. It's time to express the love. I know it's scary. I know, but you know what? Pisces, I feel like this could be the one. Look at you guys being all ice queen. Tell the truth. Tell the truth about how you feel. Because you know why? You guys are attracted to each other. All right. I don't need to get any more into this. You guys already know what the score is. So let's get you a heart card and then I'll leave you be to enjoy the amazing rest of your day. Passion. <laughs> what did I say? You can't make this up. Passion. Some of you may have someone coming back from the past, but I feel as well that for some of you, this is a soul connection. It's a soulmate connection. You guys are spiritually connected. Maybe you're both into spirituality, but it says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Ooh, enjoy it. <laughs> That's right, Pisces. You just go enjoy your, your passionate self. You keep igniting people. You keep attracting people to you. And I promise you, you're going to know what I'm talking about. And in a week's time, I hope to hear from all of you that you found the person that you're crazy about and you're in love and you're happy and you're moving across the world, whatever it be. All right, you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Bye, Pisces.